Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. Today, let's take a look at COVID-19 projections for different states of India and all of uh, India as on 21st July 2020. The situation does not look too good and I'm afraid we are quite a long way away from uh, even sc schools reopening or uh, even hitting the uh, you know peak. So this is the uh, the full uh, data, the bare data that we have for all of India. The green line is the total confirmed. The blue line is the total recovered, the uh, which is quite a lot. And uh, the black line is the total uh, number of people uh, dead and the total active, which we shall use for modeling uh, is uh, the red one. Uh, I don't know why this camera keeps freezing up. So we get rid of that. So. <clears throat> Now, uh, many people have uh, uh, said uh, you, I should be using it with the daily new cases. I should be using with the total uh, diseased or the daily dead, uh, uh, I mean the daily deaths and so on. There's too much noise in daily data and I can't do any kind of meaningful projection. So I prefer to use the total active cases. And uh, some people said that it's hard to, um, you know, uh, hide deaths. So that's the only true data and so on. Uh, Tamil Nadu is going to add 400 and, uh, 444 deaths uh, that they left out um, and uh, uh, so they're just going to add it now. So, uh, well, uh, inaccuracies, let me put it that way, inaccuracies can uh, creep up in any data set. So, uh, the number of deaths is not any cleaner, any better than uh, the number of uh, the total active cases and so on. What is important is that when you look at this, these uh, numbers, it will tell you uh, what is the trend in the growth rate. That's what's important. I'm not going to, I'm not saying uh, this prediction is accurate. It's, it's going to saturate, saturate or fall off at the time when it's projected now and so on. No, I'm never saying that you can, by just looking at the growth rates or the fall rates, you can tell whether the, they are testing enough or whether there is actually uh, 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 you know, um, a good amount of spread in the in the district or the straight state or city or whatever it is. That's the whole point of this um, of this uh, you know exercise. Uh, besides my own emotional sanity, which I have, I keep saying. So we are going to project the uh, cases using a formula like this. We're going to take the total active cases as on today uh, is equal to the number of initial active cases, which will be typically one for many cases or about a few few number of uh, you know few tens of cases initial the first reported number of active cases into the one plus uh, the rate of increase in today to the power of time elapsed between the initial the date when initially the cases were discovered to the date today so i use this kind of formula to first calculate the daily rate of projection and i get this this is the daily rate of compounding or the daily rate of growth in the cases and you can see here slowly it has been falling down but it has also kind of bent a little bit up and that's clearer in this graph you can see that it was nice nicely falling down but then um in the since you uh, know in, in about uh, for a, for about for the last month or so the rate of fall has slowed down and it's actually gone you know it's the slope has uh, you know it's 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 it should have it should it would have been great if it had followed the black line but it's a lot more slower than that it's falling down but it's a lot more slower so we need to uh, be cautious and careful we are not at all close to the hill and forget about even over the hill so what we're going to do is to take the last 10 days the uh, growth rate and project it. Um, of course, if I'm going to project it uh, forward, I've also projected it backward, but that's how it should be. But the backward projection has no meaning because we have actual data and the forward projection is what we're going to use to back calculate what would be the future active cases and we're going to project that. So the first slide is going to be uh, for all of India. So this is uh, all of India and you can see uh, it's uh, still quite a bit of bit of time away. It's somewhere in September. That's where it looks like uh, when the when the cases will start falling down all of India. But uh, many, many districts have just started increasing. The rate has in started increasing now. So that's a big problem for India. And I think uh, we are uh, it's, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be trouble. So we'll start off with, um, uh, with Maharashtra. That's the rate of daily compounding. That's Maharashtra has been falling for quite a while, 
but if i project this uh when i did it last i think july 4th or 5th uh, i know maybe 10 days ago i don't remember the peak was a lot closer but it has moved away a little bit it's probably looking somewhere uh, in the end august and so on but it's all right it's it's i mean they've gone through a lot they've gone through severe number of cases but but they will also be some of the uh, i thought they will be the first to peak but uh, let's see tamil nadu has fallen off fallen down nicely but uh, the chennai has uh, gone down significantly but the other states have started moving up a bit and you can see that uh this fluctuation is when chennai started falling down but then the other states started picking up other other districts started picking up and you can see it's moving up it, it looks as if tamil nadu is close to the peak but then this situation can change a lot as we shall see in the case of haryana uh, I, i'll talk about that when we get there but that's i mean the the, the tamil nadu is still growing uh, but we don't know it's a little cat on the wall situation as of now Chennai has uh, has been falling significantly, and uh, that's a good sign. And uh, um, it's it, you can see that it fell down, but then the rate of fall slowed down significantly for a few days. It was more or less stagnant, and then it fell down again. So Chennai is not over the hill. It's not, the danger is not, uh, the danger of increasing number of cases is very much there. And I think uh, what is happening now is that. Um, although the daily number of active cases is more or less the same in chennai for the last 10 days or so uh, the active the new cases is more or less the same in chennai but the active cases are falling because the discharges are more but i we don't know how long that will continue so we need to be a little bit careful this is delhi delhi has done quite well and uh, the lick things are looking good for delhi the number of active cases have gone down significantly let's hope it stays that way you can see that fluctuation and then there's a sustained period where it's kind of going nowhere and then it starts falling that is a that's a good trend and that's good news for delhi i would say karnataka i can't do a projection because the rate of growth is increasing they <laughs> uh they need to be uh, i mean especially bangalore people in bangalore other places they need to be careful because uh this the because they're not testing enough clearly and that's what the shows because the rate of compounding should fall down if the testing is done enough and then there are enough people isolated gradually the rate of compounding will slow down because the spread will be limited only when you test enough and find out the uh, new cases but that's not happening here and that's a problem andhra pradesh again it's moving up not a good sign not enough testing which means they're still they're just starting to test more probably i think i don't know i have not looked at the news uttar pradesh not looking good again not falling at all uh, they should be testing more gujarat it's fallen down a bit but i think yeah, the other it's close to kind of peaking but let's see how that goes still bit of a cat on the wall not a uh, um, we need we can't say for sure but that's a good sign telangana uh, it's starting to fall a bit and uh, and uh, you can see the number of cases have fallen down a bit let's see how it goes it will still it's still too volatile it will fluctuate about that portion and then uh, but it's a good sign it's better than moving up west bengal i don't uh, it's started to fall i think have I, I, but i don't think i can do uh, yeah i it started to fall but i can't still project because uh, it's not fallen down enough it's more or less stagnant i don't know how long it will be stagnant I can't believe many states in India are thinking about opening. At least a few states in India are thinking about opening schools and so on. I don't think uh, they should do that. It's a crazy idea. Rajasthan, I think it started to fall, but uh, the peak is still somewhere in September. It's not falling down enough, but it's just started. At least you can do a projection. Bihar, the rate of compounding is moving up. I mean, the daily rate of growth is moving up. That's trouble. Haryana this is what I'm um uh, I was uh, I mean I was so disappointed when I uh, when I initially did the projection I was I, I was doing it somewhere here and and you can see that that's a very strong rate of fall but then there's a bend here and the rate of fall significantly dropped and what happens was you can see that the active number of cases dropped down I was, I was i was looking at the data here and it looked very happy i was looking happy to see this but then it, the active number of cases moved up again and now it looks like only a september uh, october kind of peaking and the same could happen for any states the same could happen for delhi the same could happen for chennai tamil nadu wherever so we need to be on high alert assam it's starting to fall but i'm not sure if we can do a projection yeah assam cannot be projected it's starting to fall but it's not fallen enough to actually show a fall in the actual numbers or at least i would say that the uh, it is not going to fall in assam at this rate of uh, compounding 
uh, at least up to November, uh, uh, mid November, I don't see a fall. So that's what it means. Again, Madhya Pradesh, not, uh, it's just more or less flat, is, that's trouble. Odisha, it's falling down. Odisha, but I still can't project. I still can't do a projection or at least the projection is, it's not gonna fall uh, before November. That's not, a, that's not a good sign. Jammu and Kashmir falling down, but not, not falling down early enough that is not not before november kerala look at that they're talking about community spread there and that's a problem look at how beautifully the rate of compounding fell to zero and then from there it picked up and picked up and picked up and it's so it's the danger this is almost this is basically like a second wave and that's a second wave is more dangerous uh in than the first wave at least in the case of kerala that's a that's that's just disappointing i hope uh, they get it down soon punjab it's starting to fall the rate of compounding is starting to fall, but I don't know if projection can be made. Projection, uh, it's starting to fall, but it's not going to fall anytime soon. That's what it means. Jharkhand is moving up. That's That definitely can't be projected. Chhattisgarh, more or less steady. It can't be projected. Uttarakhand moving up. Can't be, uh, definitely can't be uh, um, projected. Goa more or less flat. I don't think it's going to fall anytime soon. And that's the lot. You can see so many districts they are very, very, very far away from uh, falling down. Some of them are increasing. The testing has to go up. So that's what the data is going to tell you. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to, it's, it's not, don't think of it as a prediction. Think of it as what is happening there. You can see that the, 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 the daily cases are not falling or actually it's increasing. It means that the state is in trouble. I mean, they, they have to increase uh, uh, testing. They have to, uh, you know, probably get into lockdowns and so on. So, Whew, not good news. Catch you later. Bye-bye.